and welcome to another Minecraft video. My name is Courtney and welcome back to the wonderful world of Minecraft. Um, now it's been a long time since I've done an update video on the town and I do feel like I need to do one because as you guys will see uh, throughout this video there have been some awesome changes to the town and I'm very very excited um, to show you guys what is going on. Um, before I begin though guys, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys are excited for more Minecraft content. And let me know if, um, with what you guys want me to do with Minecraft. Like I know I can always give you guys updates on the town and stuff, but if you guys want me to play some mini games or stuff like that, I could always go ahead and do that as well. Although I'm not the best at Minecraft, um, not yet. I'm definitely getting better at Minecraft, but yeah, let me know guys if you want to see something along those lines and as well as guys don't forget to subscribe for more minecraft stuff and to keep updated on the current town so anyways this is my house you guys have seen it um a plenty amount of times before um i don't know if i showed off the kitchen i actually added an anvil as well as a uh, coal bin so i have coal for my three furnaces here and then i have a giant chest of like all my food stuffs which I technically don't really need because most of the time I'm on god mode, so I don't really need to eat <laughs> because I'm basically god. Um, so I'm probably going to put that actually in my store because I do have a store as well, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, I do have a dog. Um, he's kind of just chilling. Um, also, don't forget to ignore, I guess, if you want the chat down below. Uh, there's a lot of people on right now. This is the amount of people that are on right now when I'm recording. Um, so if they say anything like inappropriate, I'm sorry, um, but they are the chat and you can't really help that. Um, I also have a cat who's still Maddie's cat. He hasn't come back to get it yet, so I'm assuming this cat is just going to chill in my house for a very long time, which is fine. Um, I also added a, uh, basement type thing. It's kind of like my storage for cobblestone, because I collect a ton of cobblestone, because my job... Um, you know, I can actually turn off the chat. There we go. That's a lot better, isn't it? Um, I do do a lot of mining and whatnot. That's kind of my job on the server, is to go mining and, and earn money. Um, but these are just some chests that just house some of the random like materials that if I ever want to auction off, I could auction off. So it's really not that exciting down here. I did do some mining as well down here, but I pretty much cleared everything out, I feel like, um, below the town. So I kind of went out of my way a little bit and um, did some mining elsewhere and got a good amount of uh, some good amount of diamonds and gold and, and whatnot. And I'll show you guys that in a sec. Um, upstairs has changed a tiny bit. Um, the chest room is definitely more full than it was before in terms of like what's in my chests. These diamonds I mined all by myself. These are not bought. They're not anything. I actually mined all of these diamonds, which is crazy. Um, all of this iron. I did have more iron, but I sold some of it as well. Um, so this is all my mining stuff. I also have a lot of other mining stuff and other chests around my property, but um, it's kind of really... Uh, disorganized and like nothing is in its in its final place yet. Um, I also did a lot of mining as well and came across some not, some name tags and some music discs and a whole bunch of saddles as well for my barn as you guys can see out there. We're gonna go out there in a little bit. Um, but yeah, just random stuff in these chests. These don't have anything in them, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, I guess that one does. I didn't even know this one had stuff in it. Oh, there's another saddle. I'll bring that over to the over to. The Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the game decided to crash on me and I don't know why, but it likes to do that. Hopefully everything is fine. Anyways, I'm gonna go take that saddle to my barn um, eventually. Here is the library, which Ty helped me finish actually just today. Um, he has all these books in here now, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool, and I actually changed this artwork. I think it looks pretty good with the floor. I mean, it's got a different bluish color, but it's, I don't know, it's contrasting. It, it works for me. So there's the library. Um, we have some random people outside of my house, which is fine. Nothing has changed in these two rooms. Um, I still actually need to make this room uh, not Brooke's room, because Brooke hasn't been on the server in a really long time. 
Uh, bathroom is the same, except there's a chicken in the sink. Alright then, I don't know how it got up here, that's very odd. I, I don't I don't understand that, but you know what? We have chickens and sinks, and uh, apparently the well was updated, which we'll go take a look at in a second on the way to the barn, which is my favorite part of my house. Um, also, as you guys will see when we come out here, there is a ton of work going on out here. Like it's just it's, it's nonsense. Um, but I do have another horse because my other ones keep kept dying. I. I don't understand why they shouldn't have died, um, but yeah, these guys are talking to me. Uh, I'm gonna say making a video so they know what know what I'm doing. Um, she has a very pretty skin, and so does she. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue to um, the barn area. I guess here's their well. Uh, I don't really know how it was updated or anything, but. Uh, yeah. I do like your new skin. Your new skin is, is awesome. I like how pink it is. Looks like a cupcake. I like it. Well, that's the well. You know, we're gonna go take a look at that later because I, I love them, like, a lot as friends, but I want to go, go show off this stuff first because I'm just so impatient. Alright, so this is the back of my house. I'm sure you guys have, uh, seen it before. I'm pretty sure here is a duck pond. That Ty made. Ty made most of this, to be quite honest with you. Although I made the entirety of this area over here with the help of... Oh no. What was his name? Oh no, I forgot his name. I don't think he's on right now either. But he knows who he is if he's watching this video. And I think he does watch my videos. I forgot his name though. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot what your name is. Um, but yeah, we have the potatoes. We have the wheat. We have the carrots down here. And um, somebody made a uh, mini beach. So here's like the little mini beach. I think I showed off the mini beach, have I? I don't really remember what I showed off to be quite honest with you, but I don't remember showing off my barns, I guess you could say. So here is my horse barn, which was the whole intention of me making a farmhouse, um, which is over there, that's a farmhouse. But the whole intention of me on the server was to create a, um, a barn. And I decided to make a barn Yes, I do. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, so I made a barn. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys it in a second. This is the Floros horse, Floros horse Barn. I cannot talk right now. Um, so basically, if you guys are a member of the town, or a citizen, I guess, of the town, you can go ahead and get your horses here. Um, so here are the horse prices, if you guys want to know. Uh, I do pay with gold because... Um, in order to breed the horses, you do need to have golden apples, and in order to have golden apples, you need apples and ingots, or gold ingots, I guess. So I've been making people pay, not making people, but they can pay if they want, um, 30 gold for one horse, or two horses for 50 gold. I'm trying to keep it, um, I have no idea what the long bridge is, to be quite honest with you. I don't know why it's there, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna get distracted because people are typing in the chat, but basically, um, the max amount of horses you can have or buy for me is two because I want to keep it at a, at a decent level. I mean, I guess I could sell more, but the saddles and whatnot I have are very, very limited. Uh, so anyways, um, I also sell horse armor as well. I ran out of diamond armor because, again, I, I don't just have access to that. I have to mine for it and basically farm for it, and I don't have any. So I ran out of that. Here are the horses. All of the horses in these sables are tame to me. Um, so basically that means nobody else can take them for themselves. Um, we have all kinds of horses in here. All different kinds of colors. And again, every single horse also has a different speed as well. So you could buy a horse that has like a really low speed or a horse with a really fast speed. Um, and all these guys are also my breeder horses. So these are the horses I get the babies from. Um, here is the crafting table where I craft my, uh, my many golden apples that are in this chest. I do have 37 golden apples and 54 apples. I don't have gold because I need to go out and, f uh, mine for some more gold. It's kind of hard to come across gold, to be quite honest with you. Um, and then in the chest up here, I have the, all the saddles, which I'm actually going to place this one in here. Um, as well as the leads and the remaining horse armor that I have left. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what my, my barn looks like. Um, then we have the outside, of course. Lucky is hanging out here with us. Um, and then basically out here are all the babies that are not tame to me. Um, except the donkeys. The donkeys- or two donkeys are tame to me. And you have to pay 600 bucks for, um, because there is actually dollars in this- in this game. If I'll do this, you can see how much money I currently have right now. Um, and people can just pay you $600 for a donkey if they want a donkey. Basically, all these horses out here- I forgot, I don't have fly activated. Um, are not tame to me. They are locked to me, though, so if you were to, like, say, jump in here and, like, start slaughtering the horses, you can't because it's locked to me. Um, and I could always unlock it for you if, if you want a horse. Um, and you can take it off, you can take it to your place. We have the donkeys chilling over here. Um, so that's that side of the, uh, barn. And then we have the other side of the barn. Which is one where all these horses are chilling and hanging out. Um, so these are all the horses that are available for a purchase, or I guess adoption, sort of. It's pretty cool. I'm actually really happy with my barn. I'm, I'm very excited about it. Um, here is my sheep, my sheep barn, which are very, very crowded with all kinds of sheep. Um, you guys, I think, I don't remember if they made it so that my land is protected, because there's some things people can't do on my land because it's protected, because I've had people come on and grief and destroy stuff of mine. So I'm not sure if you can, um, shear these or not. I know I can shear them, and I haven't done that, so I probably really should. But this is just my sheep barn. No, nothing really exciting. Uh... Floral sheep barn. And then we all go down to the bottom of my barn area, which is still kind of in a work of progress. And actually, as I fall down here, I need to go grab the two items that I need right now to finish off what I want to do. So this is kind of like my secondary uh, barn area where I have every single kind of animal, kind of, sort of. Uh, this is my chicken coop. And, uh, I, like I said, I forgot the guy who made this his name. I feel so bad. It'll probably come to me eventually. <laughs> It'll probably come to me after I'm done recording the video. Um, but he helped me make, like, the hoppers and stuff, where if you go down in here, that's not that chest. You'll have some eggs and some chests. Like, here we have these eggs in here. Um, which is kind of nice to have. Because then I can always spawn more chickens, or I can put it in my shop to sell, because I do have- Wow, that has a lot of eggs in that one. Um... But yeah, basically the chickens just float around and then they drop eggs in the hopper and then the hopper puts it into the chests, which are kind of nice. These have the food that the chickens eat um, that are on the both sides there. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. I really like it. Um, very, very simple, very simple design. Um, and like I said, I forgot the guy's name who did it, but he knows who he is and I'm, I'm very, very grateful to, to what, he, what he made here. Um, this is going to be my cow barn, which is what I mentioned. Uh... I should put down some cows. Put some cows down in here. There we go. And I don't have a... Um, yeah, you ain't coming out, dude. I don't have bent, like a gate yet, so I'll have to put on a gate. Uh, but this is going to be the cow barn, which I actually just made myself not too long ago. So it still has stuff to be done to it. Um, and over here is my massive pig pen. Um, where I have all these pigs in here. And they are actually below the sheep, so you'll probably hear the sheep bowing and doing all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah. Again, I forgot his name, but he made this as well. Um, what the heck? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and then the, you know, the, the pig's food is, is this way. So this is just like a kind of little sort of barnish town thing. I don't really know what we call it. Um, I need to put something over here and something on the other side so it doesn't look so awkward. So I haven't figured out what I want to do over there yet. Um, this I also just put in today as well. Um, it's like the pumpkin and melon farm kind of place. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, a whole bunch of pumpkins and a whole bunch of melons. And you can, like, harvest them if you want. Pretty, pretty cool. And then over here we have the sugarcane forest. I don't know, it's not really much of a forest, just whole bunch of cane, just chilling. Um, so that's pretty much my barn. I do have a lot of, like, excess, um, stuff I need to pick up with all these chests and whatnot to make it look more, like, formal and not, like, really disorganized, but yeah, that is my, that is my, that is my area. Um, 
I mean, you know, I don't think I've shown my barn yet, to be quite honest with you guys. So I think this is the first time you guys have seen my barn. Uh, but yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot has changed. Oh, I forgot to mention these are also the taming areas for the people who buy the horse because this part of my land is protected, which is kind of strange, but people can, like, not get on their horses for some reason, I guess, because my land is protected, so it's not protected out here, so people have to bring their horse into here and then they tame it. But at the same time, it's kind of like a corral, so it kind of makes sense. Um, and I do need to, like, change the flooring in here because it looks kind of silly, but that was kind of like a random thing. Um, and then the other side has a taming thing as well on this side. But yeah, there's my barns, I guess. Um, I'm probably going to um, fix some things up or do something different with it. I don't know. Alright, so let's just go for a quick um, view. I guess I forgot to mention this. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys have seen this either on my Twitter or if you haven't seen it on my Twitter. This is a giant 3D Lapras Minecraft model that my friend Ty made for me. I thought it would be super cool to have like a legit life-size Lapras in the water. I don't know, I just thought it would be cool. It was actually kind of like a joke um, between me and him, but he decided he wanted to build a giant Lapras. <laughs> Which is so cool because you can sit on your head and like you're legit riding on Lapras. It's it's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, Ty made this for me and it just looks so cool. I love her so much. Um, but yeah, that's that. She has a little tail too. Is that cute? It's so cute. I love it. Um, so over here was actually going to be my melon farm, but I moved it over there just because it made more sense. Um, and then over here hasn't really changed. I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. What is this? Oh, a fire pit thing? Alright. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this area. Or I guess somebody else decided to some do stuff with it. Um, which is fine. You know, I don't mind. As long as you don't, you know, destroy anything. Um, and I was going to do something down here, but I decided against it because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. And so the owner over here, uh, I forgot his name. I think it's oh, Aaronite. Aaronite? Am I saying your name right? Um, he decided to put his house right here, which is kind of cool because it kind of looks like a little bungalow type thing. Oh, even has stuff back here. Ooh, I see what you're doing, Aaronite. I see what you're doing. You have a horse here. I see, I see. Did I give you that horse? I don't remember if I gave you that horse. It even goes down more. Oh, this is kind of neat. Oh, there's a creeper in house, though. That's kind of a problem. Um, kind of don't want to go down there because I don't want his chickens to blow up. So I'm gonna stay up here, I think. Um, it looks like Aaronite has decided to make his house right here, which is actually a pretty cool looking design house, because if you just look at it out here, you're like, oh, you know, it's just built in the side of the wall, which I think people who build inside, like, hills and stuff are pretty dang cool. And he has, like, the little hopper thing as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but he thought it would be cool for- what the heck? Um, this was not here. This is- this is kind of a problem. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask a mod about this, cause that- that's- that's not supposed to be like that. Um, yeah, I- I'm not too sure about that. That's kind of weird. Um, but this is my giant wall of all your guys' comments. Ty again made this wall cause he saw that there was a whole bunch of signs, as I think you guys have seen in previous videos of just all your guys' comments to me and stuff, like in front of my house, he's like, let's just make you a wall. So he made me a wall, so you guys can go put whatever you want on the wall, um, as long as it's not like inappropriate or anything. Um, but if you guys see your sign, then there's your sign. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so I'm assuming Aaronite did all of this. Um, he made a tavern thing, which looks pretty cool, actually. Um, pretty neat, pretty neat. And he also made a cool little dock, which there was already a boat over there. Um, it's been there for a while, but you know, Aaron decided to make his own boat. So this is Aaron's boat, which is cool. And the dock looks really cool too. Um, he has his flags up. And then we got this other boat over here, which is cool. Pretty neat looking boat. That one's been there for a while. Not really sure who made that one, but. I don't know. 
Um, then we got, you know, some other houses over here. We have Rainbow's house that is oh so very rainbowy, which I think I've showed off in previous videos as well. Um, which I'm just gonna give an overview of everybody's house because it's gonna take me a long time to go through everybody's house. Um, but let me know if you guys want me to, like, go through people's houses, although I can't really do that sometimes if they're not open. There's an Enderman right there next to the cows. Um, but if you're- if you guys' house is on the server and you want me to, like, go through it during a video or something, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely set up the time aside to do that. Anyways, here are some cows and some sheep and some more houses, but you guys can just see, like, how much this town has grown. It has been insane the amount of people that decided to join the server. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go this way. Uh, this is Ty's house, as most of you guys know. Um, we're gonna go ahead and head to the park. Although, I don't think the park is finished just yet, but, um, Ty has been working relentlessly and very, very hard on our park, which looks very, very cool. This kind of looks like a DNA sample, but that's just me. Um, but it looks very, very cool. Um, he has trees and stuff, and, and I don't know, it just looks really, really neat. Um, obviously he still needs to fill all this in and stuff with the, I think it's quartz over there on the ground. Which, quartz takes a while to find, so... I think he'll be at this for a while. But yeah, there's the park. He just started working on that, uh, I think a couple months ago. And here is the Floros Council building, which it looks like they added water here, because that water wasn't there before. Interesting. So this is basically where all the council members come and they talk. Um, and I think we can go inside because I am a council member, because, I don't know, I am. Um, yeah, we can go down here, which is where all the water is. I don't know, it looks kind of natural in a way. Oh gosh, I need to get up here. I'm just gonna flow up here because it's faster than going up every single flight of stairs. Um, here's just a little empty spot. And then here is the, like, our, uh, garden-ish, I think it, I think it was like the garden, I think. Um, and then here is the council chairs, and this is my chair right here. And today in Floros, we are going to discuss. Da -da -da -da, I don't know. So that's the that's the council building. Very very cool, very very neat. Um, I'm assuming it's like a clock. I can't. I I think it's a clock. Looks like a clock, kinda. Maybe I don't know. But that's the council building. I'm just gonna fall down because we're ready for God mode and not dying from falling. Alright, I'm gonna go out here, and we're gonna continue this way to Felix's house, which is right here, um, and random houses that are built over the water, um, and some other houses here. This giant thing over here is the, uh, PvP arena, which we haven't really got to use too much, actually, um, but Ty and, uh, Reese and I think a couple other people, Arson maybe, worked tirelessly on this in creative mode and they actually moved it over to our server, which is pretty cool. So they're gonna have like games and stuff maybe down there or something sometime. I actually haven't been like down here before, but basically we have these two chairs which are for the people that rule the server pretty much. Um, all made of diamond and gold and whatnot. And then over here are the council members of Floros. So one of these is my chair. I'm not really sure which one is my chair. I don't really care really which one is my chair, but one of those is my chair, and we sit and we watch the grueling battle. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so that is the PvP gauntlet area. And if we continue this way, slowly but surely we'll get to where I need to go. Um, we're gonna hit the council building, not the council building, but like the town- town building? The town hall? Um, look at all this building going on though. That's where my old house used to be! Memories! Um, here's the- here's the council building. Here we go! Going to the council- or not the council building, the town building. I can't speak! Alright, so here is the town building, uh, the town hall pretty much, that Felix has made all by himself. I'm assuming it's all by himself, because I didn't really do much help with him. I didn't really do much help. I wasn't really much help. Um, but yeah, this is very odd. Is it supposed to be open like this? Hmm, somebody might have griefed that, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think somebody did grief it, because nothing else is open like that. Or maybe, or maybe Felix didn't finish it. I'm not sure! 
But this is the town hall, which is pretty cool. Um, where did I go? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Okay, so we have random chickens everywhere. Uh, we have other people's houses that are just all over the place. Things are changing up in Floros, everybody. Look at all this change. Um, I mean, we had, I think, according to Ty, we had to push the borders out even more. Actually, I'm gonna go to that, I forgot to show you guys the map. I'm gonna go into, like, super fast mode here. Hang on one sec. Ugh. Well, it's faster than the other way. There is a giant wall over here that shows a map of our town and where everybody built stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this map. So here is the town of Floros. My house is right here. And then it goes like this to the barn area. Um, and, but this is where everybody, where everybody put their house. Which is crazy. Um, there's a giant uh, PvP arena. There's the, the park. Um, there's a town hall. And if you guys see your house in this, let me know. Um, it's quite, quite, uh, quite busy. Quite, we, we got a, a good town going here. Um, and then I guess this giant, like, this thing that's connected to my plot is over here for this thing? Which, I'm not sure what that is, because I haven't really been over there yet. But maybe Floros is expanding more to the right. I don't know. But yeah, that is the giant town of Floros. And now let's go on another spree of looking at everybody's houses and what people have built. And I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower in the background, but somebody is lawn mowing. Or mowing the lawn. Lawn mowing? What? These are where the torches were. And, uh, as you guys can see, the border has definitely gone- Ooh, this looks neat. Haven't seen this yet. They got some horses? Like a treehouse type thing. Wait, who was it when I was talking to that had, um, said they were gonna do a treehouse? Let's see who it is. Um, I can actually do this because I'm a mod. Oh, this is Jazzy's place. All right. Yeah, I think a Jazzy said she was gonna do something like a treehouse. That's pretty cool, though. Pretty neat idea. Um. But yeah, you can see that like there's a house back here, and everybody just expanded farther and farther away from. Uh, this is kind of neat. There's like a giant walkway to their wheat farm. Cool. Um, it's actually been a while since I've I've gone this far out. I usually stay close to my area, just because I do. I don't know. Um, we have this house, which looks rather interesting. And then this giant... What is this? Um. Alright, it looks like a giant garden inside. It is his... I don't know. It looks like a greenhouse, kind of. Very cool, though, actually. I never thought of that idea, but look how ginormous it is. Oi. Do you really need that much, uh, vegetables? I mean, I guess if you're running a shop or whatever. Um, then we have over here, which I think Ty- I don't know if Ty's still working on it or not, but it's like the- the disco party rave club thing. Oh, looks like he's kind of done, isn't it? Very cool. We got lava underneath, and then here's, like, the dance floor. Yeah, we got the dance floor, which is pretty cool. Oh, here's like the DJ. Yeah, this is the DJ. We got the- I don't know what I just turned on. Nothing. I don't know if I turned on anything. We got some cages. I... I don't know. Cages, I guess? This is kind of risque, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, that's like the lounge kind of dance floor thing that Ty decided to make. And I think he did it with Reese as well. Um, alright, let's go and look around some more, because there's so much to see, so much to see. We're gonna head this way. And like I said, as you guys can see, people have just expanded outwards. Uh, we have some towers and some giant looking, uh, Greek looking things in this, tr this tree? This is actually really cool. I don't really know who made this, but this is really cool. It's like it's actually growing out of the tree. That is neat. That is really cool. Man, you guys have some awesome designs for houses and whatnot. Cause, like, I would have not thought of that. That is crazy. There's a giant tree going up, up, up. Alright, that's kind of interesting. Um, 
but yeah, as you guys can see, you, you just expanded. We we have to, we had to expand because there's just so much people. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, there's even a giant. Ooh, that's like a giant uh cow and pig and sheep farm there. Yeah, it's definitely expanded. I mean, I don't know what to say, guys, because I mean, I didn't expect all of you to like want to come on here and build all your stuff and. It's just really awesome. Like, I mean, a lot of the people that run the server would, didn't even expect the amount of people that showed up to, to build and whatnot, and it's just, it's awesome. So here we are, back to, like, I like to call the main town. Because everybody kind of went in really close with, to their neighbors, which always think, I always think look like, you know, a legit town. Um... But yeah, it's it's very nice. I am really enjoying the town. I really am. It's it's a very fun, you know, laid back experience. If you guys are not on the server yet, you can totally come on the server. Um, again, there are rules to the server though, and sadly, recently there's been a lot of bannings going on, um, on the server just because of people not following the rules. And you know, if you don't follow the rules, guys, you're gonna get in trouble and you're gonna get kicked off the server, and that's not fun because that means you can't come on and hang out and have fun with everybody else. So I do recommend you guys looking out the rules for the server. Uh, there's Panda. Hi, Panda. Um, yeah, I do recommend you guys look at the the rules of the server because that that is very important. Yeah, I don't want you guys getting banned for for reasons that you could have, you know not have done without, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go. But again, let me know, guys, what you want me to do for Minecraft. Do you guys like this type of thing? Do you like, um... You know, do you like just me updating you guys on the server? Do you want me to do stuff, like, in the video instead of just going on and on about everybody's houses? Do you want me to play mini games? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, I guess I will see you guys later. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, as well as subscribe for more Minecraft and other awesome videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.